Hi kids! We're going to do the rolling tin pan today and we're going to do it quick because it's 97 degrees. Ah! Okay. First of all we have the L'Oreal all wiped off the thing. You can't see it. It's called the L'Oreal Revitalist Volume Filler Night Cream. It was 18 grams and now it is finished. Done. Complete. I still have some of these in my backup. I had, I had a bunch of these little like travel size ones. But that one's finished. Next we have the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette. It is beautiful. I'm not going to say it's not beautiful. Um, it is. It's a beautiful palette. It is not a palette for me. How's that? Um, it is a beautiful palette and I really thought I would enjoy it and it was really important to me to get a Juvia's Place palette. I really wanted one really bad. And I have one. I've tried the formula and I no longer wish to have another one again. This formulation of eyeshadow it, it's best to use your fingers I don't like doing that I don't want to buy any more I just didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would this was hundred and sixty grams at my last update, it's 159 grams now. We're just going to take it out of the project and replace it with something else because I'm not enjoying it and I don't want to pan something I'm not enjoying. Next we have the Dizzle Colors in Statement. This was 50 grams. It is still currently 50 grams. Oh, it's summertime. I'm not wearing as much makeup. You can see that it's been used, which when I put it in the project, you couldn't even tell that it had been used. It's a beautiful color. I really like it. But it's very pigmented. It, A little bit of it goes a real long ways. So this may take a real long time. <laughs> but we're going to keep it in our project and we're going to continue to enjoy it. Next, we have the Physician's Formula CC Cream, or not cream, this is the CC Pressed Powder and Light. This is 36 grams. It's still 36 grams. I do not know how I still have product. I, every day I wear makeup, I use this, I use this powder. And it is still here with no pan. Whatever. It's a good powder. I like it. I'll continue to use it. This is the Winky Lux Unibrow in like Universal Taupe or something. Whatever. Anyways, it's Universal. And it's one of those with the triangle tip to it. I don't know if you can see any of that. It's a good brow pencil. It was 9 grams. It's still currently 9 grams. And... I can actually tell that some product has been used, but it just goes on and on and on. I think I've had this since ooh, last fall, and I've been using it since I got it. I used to have this really pretty gold stuff all over the outside. That's all gone. It is just, it is, this cap is broke for the spoolie. It's getting really tired, but it keeps going and going and going. It's a good brow pencil. I have it in my brows right now. Next, this is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint and Get It. I love this color. It's a beautiful color. This is like my oldest lipstick. I think it is. But it's a beautiful peachy color. It was 18 grams. It's still currently 18 grams. I use it, but like I said, I have not been wearing 
as much makeup. It's summertime. It's 97 degrees right now. I don't, I don't, I don't wear makeup when it's 97 degrees. I'm going to finish this video and I'm going to take all this off. So, next we have the Scentbird Gucci Guilty. How there is any product left in there, I do not know. Can you see how much is left in there? Yeah. A little bit of this goes a real long way, though, so you don't need to use a lot of it. It was 16 grams. It's currently 15 grams, and you know that's all packaging. I mean, there's so little left in there. Whatever. I, I mean, it doesn't take very, very much, and it smells all day long, and it's a really nice scent. It's very strong, though. I don't know if I would repurchase it immediately, but I have it on my scent bird list in the future um, because I do enjoy the scent. It's just a very strong scent. Next, this is the Cover FX Shimmerville in Amethyst, and I have to be perfectly honest, I do not like this product. I, I just... Watch it. It looks beautiful when you swatch it on your hand. Look how beautiful that looks. If you can see it. It's very pretty. Okay. The problem is when you put it on your lids, it just gets everywhere and it crinkles and it crumbles. I don't, ugh, I don't like that. So, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to work with it. I've been using it different ways, trying to figure out how to use this product. It's, it's so beautiful. I just don't know how to use it to make it look beautiful on my face, you know? It looks beautiful on my hand, looks beautiful in the, in the packaging, but it does not look beautiful on my face. That was 24 grams, that's still currently 24 grams. This is the Lottie London Blush Crush in Drake. It's kind of a peachy, sparkly type blush. Let's see if we can get a swatch. I'm really terrible at swatching, by the way. It's right there. Very pretty. I just wanted a, a peachy blush in my in my tin pan because I didn't have one. I had a, a pinky blush and I just wanted a peachy blush and I like this one. I like the Lottie London um, blush crushes. This I have on my nails right now. It is the Ulta the Ulta Salon Formula in Super Mauve. It was 49 grams and it's currently 49 grams, which I think is kind of odd because I have been using it. So you can see the product. It's a really beautiful color. Um, it's kind of a cool tone, mauve -y color. It's my color. I like it. Next. We are going to add two products in to replace the two products that were out. This is the Bombs in the Bomb of Your Hand Greatest Hits Volume 2. I have to say, I am disappointed. These are the, the palette. It has, of course, it has a Mary Lou Manizer, and then it has some eyeshadows. And then it has the Bahama Mama, Down Boy, Frat Boy, and an Instain, and I think it's Hound's Tooth. I, it's fine. I really like um, Bomb's blushes, but in this palette, something happened to them, and they're really hard pressed in there. And then I got hard pan right after I got this on Bahama Mama. And 
I don't know. It just doesn't seem to have the same quality that the individual ones have. But it's still beautiful. I'd still. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. So, my finger's been highlighted. Um, and all of these you can also use on your eyes. They're all eye safe. So that kind of makes it nice. I can get uh, a pretty look out of this. Um, it's all kind of the same look, but I can get some really nice looks out of it. I'd like to use it at more. Um, the expiration is 12 months, and next month will be 12 months. So I'd like to get some more use out of it before it actually does start to go bad. That is 173 grams. Next, this is the Bay Body Eye Gel. I got this off of Amazon. It says that it is anti-wrinkle, firming, hydrating, lifting, elasticity, Bite, puffiness and dark circles. It has um, stem cell technologies, plant stem cells, blah blah, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, peptide complex. <sighs> Not tested on animals. Made in the USA. What can I say? Supposedly it's a great formula. If you go on Amazon, you look it up, there's before and after pictures, there's all these people saying how amazing it is. I bought it, and I've used it, but I don't know if I've used it enough days in a row to have a good opinion about it. I use it occasionally, blah, blah, blah. You, you and I both know that's not how you use it, an eye cream. So... I am going to focus in and I'm going to use this one and this one alone and I'm going to use it until I actually do get an opinion about it and not a, oh, I don't know. So we need to actually find out if this works or not. See how that works out. So that is my current 10 pan. We took two products out. Well. We finished one product, we took another one out, and we put two in, and I think that is about it for today. Hopefully next time, maybe some of these will actually be used up, you know, like that perfume and that powder. Anyways, I'm moving this month. Things are kind of crazy. It's the middle of summer. It's so hot. I don't know how much makeup I'm going to end up wearing. Hopefully we'll... I like to wear makeup, so hopefully there'll be days when I can. So, if you like my hideo... <laughs> if you like my video... If you like my video, hit subscribe, hit like, hit all the buttons, you know, do all that kind of stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Ow.